And how's it going, guys? Joshua Lafemi here, live from LA, and welcome to Creative Week with Nick Koo here on the Joshua Lafemi channel. Creative Week is a time when we step in every day for an entire week with one of my good friends that's usually way more talented than myself and where we get to discuss and dive into some incredibly awesome topics. So who is my bro Nick Koo and what can you expect out of this week? I've known Nick's work for close to 10 years. He's one of the most talented VFX artists that I know, and he currently lives in Sydney, Australia. He's worked with so many big brands and artists, and this week he is committed to one VFX tutorial every single day, which is crazy. Today, Nick's going to be showing you how to make a lyric video. But first, of course, we're going to talk about Envato Elements. If you're watching this video, you're probably a video editor, and Envato Elements is a video editor's dream. It's a subscription service that gives you unlimited downloads of the most incredible stock footage, like cloud and fog overlays, aerial footage, fire, lightning. They also have incredible VFX packs, Premiere and After Effects templates, sound effects, royalty-free music, and literally anything you could ever want as a video editor. Just by clicking the link below, you will automatically get a free first month. You'll see that coupon for the free first month at the very, very end after you've finished signing up. And that's it. I use Elements literally in some regard every day. So I've got two tickets, one for me and one for you. And we're going to take a flight way down to Sydney, Australia. Nick, the floor is yours. Hey guys, welcome back for a yet another exciting tutorial in this week of tutorials. Today, we're going to look at how to create your own lyric video, which is all the rage now on the YouTubes. It's a pretty simple way to get some content out there, but there is an art form to it. And I'm going to show you how. Now, today, we're going to look at this really sick track by an Aussie artist called IMD, and the song is called The One. Check it out. Everybody on an ego trip, I try to hold my name, but I just bust a zip. Time for me to go on my excursion. I'm a diamond look and let the ego drip. Now, first up, we're going to spend a little time setting things up in Premiere. I spend a little time listening to the track, marking up the beats of where I would like certain words to appear and which blocks of text are on screen at any particular time. At this stage, I'm just breaking each screen up line by line. Depending on your preference, you don't have to go through word by word, but for this song, I think it would look better if each word comes on one at a time. You're more than welcome to do it in a much simpler way by doing it sentence by sentence or just paragraph by paragraph, but I just think this looks better for this song. Next, I place a solid color underneath and cut the solid line up with all the edges of the text layer. I know, I know, this looks tedious, but trust me, this saves you a lot of time later. Premiere is way better at doing this than After Effects is. Now, let's import this bad boy into After Effects. Don't forget to select the audio as well. I actually forgot and had to re-import it separately. Now, we're going to grab all our lyrics and pre-compose them into their own layer. We'll keep this as a guide and use it for reference if we need it. Next, we're going to mark up the composition pressing Ctrl-8 and line up the marks with the edges of each of the solids. As you can see, the edges are in sync with the beats we marked up in Premiere. This saves us guessing where the words will come in at a particular point in the song. The good news is now you don't have to try and figure this out in After Effects, which, trust me, is a real pain in the butt. Once you've marked everything out, it's time to get animating. It's good to have a soft copy of the lyrics that you can copy and paste from. I decided to use this handwritten font to reflect the urban vibe of the song. I line up each new layer with the markers we've created holding the shift key to make sure I snap accurately to the right place. In terms of composition, I'll be honest, I don't really have a plan of attack. I just put stuff down and start playing around with sizes and placements till I find something that looks visually appealing. The key here is to vary things up enough and make it not feel boring. As a rule, I try to follow general design guidelines like rule of thirds, whether to justify text left, right or center, and making words bigger to emphasize the end of a phrase. One trick I do enjoy doing is parenting a block of text to a null and then giving the null some slight movement or even drastic movement. Again, the key is to keep it interesting for you and your audience. Find as much variation as you can in keeping your lyrics interesting. After doing all the animation, I put a vignette over the top, add my fave film grain, and to finish it off, I add a camera and parented a null to it. And then I add a little bit of the wiggle expression to the position and rotation of the null to make the lyrics feel a little bit more organic. And just when I was about to export the video, I had an epiphany to add drips to the end of the word drip. So I created a few strokes with the pen tool, parented them to the null, and lined up the drips to the beginning of the word drip. I set a trim path animation on them, and hey presto, you have lyrics that drip like paint. And there you have it guys, my approach to animating lyric videos. If you have any more questions, feel free to hit Josh or me up yeah. in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Everybody on an ego trip, I try to hold my name, but I just bust a zip. Time for me to go on my excursion. I'm a diamond look and let the ego drip. Shout out to Nick for such an incredible tutorial. 
please make sure to check out all the videos in this week's creative series down in the description below. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. I actually have two additional videos that you've got to watch. And remember to get your free month of Envato Elements by clicking the link below in the description. And lastly, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And as always, remember to keep it chill.